when we audit new brands, it's very often we come across people that had keywords that did well three, four, five months ago, but at the time of auditing, they're not getting clicks and impressions and they're not sure why. Well, Scale Insights is a solution with the Revive rule. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna explain how it works and show you how to set it up. I'm Brandon Jason, Kickstarter PPC. We're an Amazon PPC agency and Scale Insights partner. We've been using Scale Insights to make sure things are done in the proper way and in the way that we optimize. When you create the revive rule, what you need to do is set your criteria, set your trigger sequence, and make sure it confines with what you're trying to do here. So for example, if a keyword was running at a high conversion rate, low ACoS, these are the sort of things you wanna be looking for. So also something that gets no impressions and no clicks at the moment. So what you wanna do is look to create the rule, set it up as you normally would, and select your criteria that you set up, and you're gonna have a revivable criteria. So perhaps from this, you're gonna have that the conversion rate was 30%, you had a low ACoS, maybe it's 15% ACoS, and based on that, it's got no clicks and impressions in the last 30 days, we're gonna revive it and we're gonna give it a try. So you can set the priority level, you can set the target ACoS on it, the maximum bid, and particularly for this, I would make sure you have a maximum bid because you don't know what it's gonna be now when before you were running it. Especially if you're running it near Prime Day, you might find the bid is a lot higher than it was two, three, four months ago. So it's worth setting a maximum bid just until you know what you're dealing with. Minimum bid, I don't really see that as necessary. And what you can do is, I guess, if you want to, put it at the suggested bid, suggested lower, the suggested higher. So I guess if you're bringing it back, maybe you wanna stick with the suggested higher, but then set a maximum bid. It's up to you, but that's an option. All you need to do now is go ahead and create that rule, and we'll go back here, select the product, select the rule, and assign, then you're good to go. When you set up this rule, you should particularly be looking at things from the last six months. So if you are looking at things that are back two, three years ago that did well, well, potentially you could have a problem with that. And the reason is, you might have a much higher cost per click than you did before, a lot higher competition going for those search terms. So you need to be aware of that and actually check Helium 10, visually check it, rather than rely on automation for those specific things. But for something that's been maybe not working for a couple of months, maybe six months, it's a good fit. So choose wisely what you run this for, but it's a good opportunity to get some of those keywords back. We hope you enjoyed the content, found it useful, and were able to implement some of these rules on your Scale Insights account. If you need more help with your Amazon PPC Scale Insights, check our content out. We've got tons of content out here that will help you out if you're a Scale Insights or Amazon PPC user. If you need help with your Amazon PPC that goes beyond our training videos, contact us below, kickstartppc.com. We'll help you out and find a way to sort your brand out. Until next video, hope you guys have a good one and we'll see you soon. Bye.